Hello, I am Dr. Miriam Smith, DNP. I want to welcome you again to the Empowering New Nurses show. I continue to be excited that you returned, you came back so that we can share, we can share experiences. We'll continue this episode on the use of the stethoscope. We started the last episode and we'll continue in this episode today. Now the stethoscope. Nurses at times may just inadvertently take the stethoscope and just put it in the air. I'm talking after you have cleaned it and everything, but not re realizing that you didn't put it in correctly. So I'm going to emphasize two things, a few things, the, which include the correct way of putting the stethoscope on and plus what the, it's used for. So my new nurse, you might not be hearing the sound you're looking for. It may be because it was not placed in correctly or it might be a very cheap one and it's not picking up the sounds. So guess what? Let's see how it works and let's see how we would prevent um, falsifying or getting wrong information or not getting any information at all because we did not place it correctly and then we wouldn't get good findings we are anticipating, okay? So let's look at the stethoscope. The stethoscope, we talked about the anatomy prior, so at this time we'll just talk about the placement of it. So at this time, just I want you to look at the ear pieces, right? So the ear pieces should be looking away from you because you're gonna be thinking of the formation, the way, the situation of the of the air, the air loop. So here it is. I want you to, it's anatomically made this way also to facilitate the right placement. So I want you to look at this, this, the air, the air tubes, not the air pieces, the air pieces, not the air, the air pieces. They should be looking away from you. If you notice carefully, they are away from me. And it goes, in, it goes in the same direction of the air lobe. Okay, so here it is. This is looking away from me. And that's the correct way you're going to put it in your ear like this. All right. You're able. Yes, you're able to hear this sound because the, anat the anatomical structure of it, right? So you're able to hear this sound. Now, as opposed to if you had just taken it and put it like this, no sound. So a nurse might run to a senior nurse, a new nurse, and when, while she's doing her assessment, she realizes that, listen, my patient looks looking okay, the color is good, I'm breathing okay, I haven't seen anything that seemed abnormal. However, I'm not hearing any breath sound, I'm not hearing anything that nurse might just be able to just look at the way she had put in, she had placed the stethoscope. So it's important for the correct findings, it's order to put it the correct way. Therefore, remember all the time, the air pieces should be looking away from you, away from your nose, away from you as it is here. And that's the correct placement. It might seem really basic, but in truth, it happens. So it's just a reminder. So before you um, start your assessment um, of your patient by using your, your stethoscope, after you clean it off and all of that, and it's clean and ready, just look at the way it's, where it's pointing to, and you won't miss once you do it that way, all right, until it becomes, but you should look, because we, anyone can make an, that error, all right? So thank you so much, and just remember that the, the diaphragm it's used for the high frequency sound and the bell is used for the low frequency sound. And of course, we are, we, what are we listening for? We are listening for the lungs, we are listening for breath sounds, okay? For the heart, we are listening to heart sound. And for the abdomen, we are listening, for quadrants of course, we will be listening for abdominal sounds. So my nurses, it's important 
to as you assess to have the right placement of your stethoscope in your ears. Thank you so much. And if this has been of any help, any review for you, subscribe to this channel. You can subscribe to on the YouTube. You can follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and of course, Podcast Mirror. Podcast Mirror. Spotify, and Apple, any of those you can check. So it was really great um, reviewing and discussing the functionality and also the placement of the stethoscope, the effectiveness of it and the functionality. So let's do our part so that our patient can receive high quality nursing care. Thank you for listening. It was a pleasure to have you today. I'm Dr. Miriam Smith, the nurse who empowers new nurses, the older nurse who empowers new nurses because they can advocate for themselves, they can advocate for the patients, and they in turn will be confident to provide a high quality nursing care. Thank you. See you in the next episode. Remember, weekly episode will be there for you to follow. Thanks again. I'm Dr. Miriam Smith.